Welcome to Lavanya's Computer Classes. In this video, I will explain what is greedy algorithm. So, what is greedy algorithm means it is an approach for solving a problem. If you want to solve any problem, you have to go for so many methods are there. In the previous video, I will explain dynamic, uh, uh, in, I will explain uh, divide and conquer method and uh, some method is greedy method like uh, dynamic programming. So many problems are there, so many approaches are there, we can select any one of the this approach. In previous example, I explained uh, divide and conquer method using uh, bi uh, binary search method using divide and conquer method. Now in this video, I will explain greedy algorithm. So what is a greedy algorithm? So what is greedy algorithm means it is an approach for solving a problem by selecting the best optimal solution at that moment. That means greedy algorithm means first to find out so many solutions. In these solutions, which one is the best optimal solution at that moment? But we are not said whatever the choice we are selected, that is the best one. It is not guarantee. In the so many solutions, I select one thing that is compulsory the best one. At that moment, we are selecting something that is the best, that moment only. So, the algorithm never reverses the earlier decision even if the choice is wrong. Once we take the choice, once we select the choice, even though the choice is wrong, the algorithm is never take the reverse. So, at that moment, we are feeling this is the best. Yes, that is the best only. After that, you are finding one more best solution, but it is not accepted. So, that is one of the drawback of greedy algorithm also. It works in a top-down approach. So, greedy algorithm is always working on the top-down approach only. So, what is the disadvantage or drawback of greedy algorithm? The main drawback is it does not change. It does not always produce the optimal solution. Whatever the solution selected using greedy method, we are not give any guarantee that is the best solution. At that moment, it is the best solution, but you are not say that is the best solution out of so many solutions. Now, I will give you one example for greedy method. So, this is the example. In this, I want to find the longest path in the graph from root node to leaf node. So, I will take the graph here. What I want? I want to find the longest path. So, longest path from root node. So, longest path means where I selected, I selected from the root node. So, what is my root node? Root node is 20. After that, I want to find longest path with uh, according to their weights. So, here left hand side children is there, right hand side children is there. What is the left hand side children? 2, right hand children, children is 3. But I want longest path according to their weight. So, according to this, which one we have to select means either 2 or 3. I want longest heavy weight. So, automatically selected right hand side that is 3. So, 20. So, I selected right hand, right hand side path that is 3. So, after 3, uh, there is no other solution, other uh, option, compulsory I have to select because in the right hand side only one children is there. So, I have to go to 3, after 3, now 1. So, 20 plus 3 plus 1, what is the weight totally? 24. So, this is the longest path. So, longest path. So, I selected one option. According to this option, my longest path value is 24. Is it correct actually? If I have selected right and left hand side, so root is 20, left hand side children is 2, after left hand side children again I have two ways are there, either 7 or 10. If we selected 10, what is the best one? 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 2, 32. This is the heavy longest path. So, but whatever selected, I selected in these 2 and 3, here only selected. 3 is the highest, longest. So, according to that path, I getting only 24. So, my according to greedy method selected 24. That is why I am not said according to that moment it is correct. 3 and 2, which one is the heaviest means 3 I selected. So, according to that, that decision, this is correct. But out of so many solutions, it is not correct one. So, this is the one disadvantage of greedy method. Using greedy method, we have so many applications are there. That is finding minimum spanning trick. 
the minimum spanning tree application tomorrow I will explain next coming video is minimum spanning tree this is the application of greedy method thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe my channel or share it to your friends and thank you